Hello everyone. Today we will be discussing how to find the value for an algebraic expression. We already have discussed in the previous videos what is an algebraic expression, how to find or derive an algebraic expression, how to add and subtract an algebraic expression and today we will find a value like how to find the numerical values for an algebraic expression. So we will take one example here of three friends Alex, John and Rehan. They all have some number of chocolates with a relation. So let's take an example of Alex where Alex says that he has some chocolates. So as he has some chocolates but we are not aware how many chocolates he has we'll be denoting the number of chocolates what Alex has with the variable x where variable x can take any value any numerical value now not, let's talk about John he has four times what more than what Alex had so John has four times chocolate so we'll be multiplying what Alex has to four to get the number of chocolates what John has and then we come across Rehan Rehan says that he has 10 more chocolates than the number of chocolates Alex and John together have so here Rehan has what Alex has along with that what John has in addition to that he has 10 more chocolates so this is the number of chocolates for Rehan now we have derived an algebraic expression for what individually Alex, John and Rehan has their chocolates but we still don't have a concrete numerical values for the same so let us look at the next statement what says that all the three together have 100 chocolates now that means what Alex has plus what John has plus what Rehan has sums up to be 100 chocolates so let us put there each of their algebraic expression so after adding the like terms we come ahead with an expression now we have an expression here 10x plus 10 equal to 100 to find the value for this x what we really need to do is we have to just multiply with a fraction 1 by 10 on both the sides this gives us as this is in the bracket this gets cancelled here this gets cancelled with giving me 10 here so I'll get one example, uh, I'll get the simplified expression as x plus 1 equal to 10 which is nothing but x is equal to 9. So now I have come across that the number of chocolates what Alex has is 9. To find out what John has I have to multiply 9 with 4 that gives me 36 chocolates so John has 36 chocolates now what Rehan has is 5x plus 10 that means if I put the value of x that is 9 here that gives me 9 5 is 45 plus 10 55 so Rehan has 55 chocolates now to cross check this that our sum is correct what we do is we will first add all the three chocolates so let us add the numerical sum of Alex, John and Rehan so the numerical sum for Alex, John and Rehan comes to 55 plus 36 plus 9 so this gives me 64 plus 36 which is 100 so I came across 
the same value as what I started earlier. That means I crossed, we already cross checked that whatever value of x we have found is correct because the sum of what chocolates worth Alex, John and Rehan has comes to be 100 with which we originally started to find out the value of x. So I hope that this gives you an idea how to find the value of x. This is one method. Now there is a second method to find the value of an algebraic expression. In the second method, there may be an algebraic In this algebraic expression, we are given the value a is equal to 3 and b is equal to 2 and we are asked to find the value of this algebraic expression. To find the value of this algebraic expression, what we need to do is we have to just find, uh, we have to just put the values of a and b in the equation and then derive the numeric value for it. So, I'm just putting the value for it. So that comes around to be okay. So what what we have done is we are we are given the value of a and b. We put the values of a and b in the algebraic expression and finally find out what is the numerical value for the algebraic expression. Let's take one more example. Let's say a is equal to 4 and b is equal to 2. So here a cube minus b cube will be 4 cube minus b cube 2 cube that comes to 64 minus 8 which is 56. So here with the value a equal to 4 b equal to 2 the expression a cube minus b cube is equal to 56. So this way there can be two methods one can be where we are given an expression with the value of a and b the variables present in the expression we are to ask to find the value of the expression and the another way what we had seen earlier is that we have given the expression with the total number of say the value for the total number we are coming and deriving the expression and then finding the individual values so i hope this is clear too let me go ahead with the next topic The next topic is using an algebraic expression in deriving formulas and rules. So we already have studied some basic geometric formulas like perimeter. I will take an example of perimeter of a square. So if I have a square with the length L then the perimeter of the square is this length plus combined with this length, combined with this length, combined with this length. As it is square, all the lengths will be of the sa same numeric value. So let us denote the length with L and as it has four sides, each of them is of length L, the perimeter will become four into length or four L. This becomes four L becomes an algebraic expression for the perimeter of a square with length L. So now, if I know the length L. Let's take an example length L is equal to 5 cm then the perimeter becomes 4 into 5 that is 20 cm. So this way we can find the value for the perimeter of a square where first we derive 
that what will be the algebraic expression of the perimeter of a square then if we have some value of the length we derive at the final value what would be the numeric value for the perimeter of a square let's take one more example with the perimeter of a triangle the perimeter of a triangle is triangle has three sides let's say if they are of the three equal sides and i denote the equal sides with l then this comes to 3l and this gives me for a value of l equal to 5 this gives me 15 cm i'm assuming here it's an equilateral triangle let me go